In this video, I'll show you how to use the compressor in Studio One to make your audio sound awesome. Okay, so here we are with a voiceover. Now, this is part of a series, actually. I've done something about EQ. I've EQ'd this voice Playing already. the songs that make you feel good. But we just want to level it out a bit. We want to add a compressor to squish down the loud bits and make everything a consistent volume. Well, here, over to the right, I've got my Effects tab open, and I can look at the PreSonus effects, and actually, it doesn't take me long to scroll and find Compressor, which I can drag and drop onto the track right there, and there is my compressor. Now if we want to see other stuff I've done, done before, because I'm kind of building up a chain here to make this voice sound better, we'll just go into the mix mode in the bottom right and you can actually see that I've got Pro EQ on the first insert and then I've got compressor on the second one. So that's helpful if I need to go back and make alterations later. Okay, attack and release. So what do they do? Attack is how quickly the compressor kicks in. I can reduce this in time if I like. And release, how slow does it let go and let the audio return to its regular level? I'm going to turn that down just a bit. Input gain will turn the volume up after you've done your compression. And the rest is very simple. We've got threshold and ratio here. This is a pretty light compression. Let's listen to it. Playing the songs that make you feel good. Not much going on there, but I can increase the ratio quite a bit, uh, maybe up to three, and move the threshold down. That's a squishier compression. Playing the songs that make you feel... And now you can start to see it kicking in with the yellow light popping up there to show the gain reduction. Let's make it further harsh. Feel good. Now we've got some serious gain reduction. Playing the songs that... And obviously it's got quieter, so we'll zip back to the start and we'll turn the input gain up. Playing the songs that make you feel good. And now we can compare that by clicking the compare button and playing back. Playing the songs that make you feel good. Hot 91.9. So obviously we can have it on or we can have it off, but obviously I think with the compression on uh, a harsher setting like this, you squish down the audio. It's great if you're mixing it in with music or making a whole production piece, and it's very easy to go back into the mix view and see everything you've done in the past. So I can bring up my Pro EQ that I did in a previous video, double click, and there's my EQ. And then I can look back down, scroll down here, and I can also get an overview of my compressor as well and edit that if I want. Talking about EQ, if you'd like to learn more about that, you should go and watch this video that's on your screen right about now and learn all about the Pro EQ in Studio One.